you know, are these things safe to have in the home? Um, now, Logan, tell us, what, what were some of the situations where you would need to use the internal heating module for the battery? Are you talking about like for like extreme cold temperatures or where would that come into play? Now, you mentioned something to me off camera before we started about the, the field serviceability of the unit. Can you speak a little bit about that as well? How many batteries can be connected in parallel to achieve a higher capacity? The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Logan Bacher, product manager at Pites, and we're going to be looking at the new Pites V10 battery. So Logan, uh, thanks for spending some time with us, and Great. Uh, looking forward to learn more about the new battery. Of course, of course, yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, this is a, a new product we're coming out with very soon that we're really, really excited about sort of building off the popularity of our V5 model. This is essentially double the capacity with, uh, with some new features that we're really excited about. Great, great. Now I remember we saw the V5 back earlier this year in San Diego at InterSolar, and we, we had another video. In fact, if you haven't seen, go, go back and watch the previous video if you want to learn about the, v, the V5 battery, which was more of a server rack mount type right, battery. Right. Now the V10, I understand, is, a, is an independently wall-mounted battery. So Correct. can you kind of run us through the basics, the sure, basics on it here? Sure. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, similar construction, internal stuff as the, as the V5 battery, but different shape, different, different mounting method, different format. So this is an outdoor rated solution, uh, just a slight change from the, from the server rack style battery we have, but uh, low voltage, 51.2 nominal. Um, the total energy storage capacity is about 11.8 kilowatt hours. 10 kilowatt hours is usable. Uh, it's a half C discharge rate, so about uh, somewhere between six and seven kilowatts of charge and discharge capacity. Um, this one we're really excited about some of the new features we're incorporating into this model. Um, this will have integrated heating, just like our V5 model did. Uh, as I said, outdoor rated, we can do wall mount or floor mount with this battery model. So. Uh, we do not need any external or third-party cabinets or enclosures. Uh, we have now a physical circuit breaker or disconnect on the side of the battery, so for any applications that require emergency ESS shutdown. Okay, so Logan, I know you mentioned it's a, what, 51 and a half nominal voltage? Yeah, 51.2 volts. 51.2 volts, okay, so this could be used with most 48 volt inverters, like let's say a Solark, for example, yeah, or a Schneider? Yeah, exactly, great question. So yeah, this is this is another, another part of our V-series, our low voltage product line, uh, compatible with pretty much any 48 volt nominal inverter on the market. Uh, we'll have a high degree of closed loop compatibility with brands like Solark, Solus, LuxPower, and others. And of course, if it's an older inverter, maybe a, a lead acid battery replacement or a retrofit type system, we can work in open loop with, with pretty much any 48 volt inverter as well. Uh, I'll add to that, we will have UL9540 certification with, uh, with Solark, LuxPower. So Logan, for those, you know, let's say they're gonna connect this to a higher capacity inverter. Let's, like, let's say the Solark 15, for example, right. which I know is a popular combination. How many batteries can be connected in parallel to achieve a higher capacity? Yeah, so at the moment we can do up to three batteries in parallel. That gives you about 30 kilowatt hours of usable storage and power output close to 20 kilowatts. Okay, so yeah, so enough to run that 15K at correct. full, full yeah, capacity, correct. even if you had no solar and had to pull it all from the battery. Uh, exactly, yeah, yeah. One, one of these alone might be a little shy to satisfy the full output of a 15K, but two of them, especially three, you should have no problem. Sounds good, sounds good. Now listen, I know one concern that a lot of potential homeowners out there have, they're considering installing batteries for their home is, you know, are these things safe to have in the home? I know we've heard a couple horror stories about batteries catching on fire and things like that. So what are some of the things you've incorporated into your design to help mitigate the, the, the fire safety concern? Yeah, yeah, great question though, thank, Joe, thanks. Uh, the main thing that we've, we've incorporated into, into this new product is, uh, is a fire suppression system, an aerosol fire suppression system internally. So that uh, greatly mitigates any risk of thermal runaway. Uh, we've also got uh, dry contact relay terminals and a physical breaker, which acts as a disconnect. So any applications that require emergency ESS uh, shutdown, we've got that covered as well. And I did want to add just one more thing on that note too. Um, just like our V5 product, the V10 has a dedicated port for our Wi-Fi dongle monitoring accessory. So with that, we can hope to find issues 
uh, before they arise. You know, we'll see uh, a certain alarm code or a fault come on the battery and uh, we, can, we can help troubleshoot that and diagnose it remotely. Um, now, Logan, tell us, what, what were some of the situations where you would need to use the internal heating module for the battery? Are you talking about like for like extreme cold temperatures or where would that come into play? Right, so anytime we're installing batteries in colder climates where the temperatures are gonna dip below freezing during the winter time, uh, it's usually a good idea to incorporate heating so we can charge the batteries when the temperatures get low. So what that does is it frees up uh, gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of where we can install the batteries, how we can install the batteries, and ultimately just more usability for the customer, for the end user. And you said this is an outdoor rated product, right? Correct. So this yeah. could, in theory, this could be mounted to an exterior wall of the house. Exactly. And then if the temperature were to fall below a certain level outdoors and the internal heater would just kick, kick in automatically, or how does that work? Yeah, correct. All the heating's internal. There's no additional components or accessories or cables we have to connect. Uh, everything is automated, controlled by the internal BMS. Great, great. Um, well, I know there's a lot of installers that are, that are probably watching out there. It, you know, if they don't necessarily, or they're not very familiar with your product, you know, they might look at all these different batteries that are on the market now and say, wow, I don't know where, where to start. What are some of the things that you've incorporated into the design here to help it easier for installers, both for the initial install and then also for service and support after the initial install? Right, right, great question. Um, so I think, I think some of the key features I highlighted earlier, we're really trying to make this a very versatile and usable product, something that we know will get approved by AHJs across the country, where we won't have issues running into code compliance and, and uh, specific requirements such as that. Um, what I'll say is this is again kind of a, another addition to our existing V-series product line where we have the V5 and other solutions as well. That's backed by you know, our two decades of experience in the battery space, uh, manufacturing batteries, developing our own BMS in-house, and uh, all that quality and know-how and experience is of course incorporated into this new design as well. Yeah, well, it's important because again, it seems like there's there's so many Me Too products on the market now. So Absolutely. many, like everybody's got a battery now. Yeah, you know, so making sure that you're choosing the right battery partner for installers, I think, right. is especially important. Now, you mentioned something to me off camera before we started about the the field serviceability of the unit. Can you speak a little bit about that as well? Yeah, yeah. So generally speaking, uh, Pites batteries have an extremely low rate of failure. It's 0.3% uh, or lower. So every three out of a thousand batteries, we have an issue with. The majority of those issues come down to things like maybe a failed BMS or power board, uh, which makes our batteries extremely field serviceable. So it's very rare that you're having to uh, dismount or disassemble a battery and pack and ship it back to us for replacement. We can often ship you out a, a replacement board or a spare component uh, to get that battery repaired on site and get your customer back operating as soon as possible. Um, I'll add to that as well, we do have multiple warehouses in the United States and Central America as well, so uh, when it does come down to those very, very rare instances of equipment failures or issues, uh, we're, we're ready to go with, with our uh, North American and, and Central American facilities to get those replacements into the hands of the installer as soon as we can. Great, great. Well, I mean, I, I know, you know, having field serviceable parts might sound like a little thing, but when you're talking about a battery that, I mean, what, what is this way? 150, 200 pounds? Uh, probably close to 200, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, you don't want to have to have to return this entire right. unit to right. the factory. If you right. can replace a, a five pound circuit board or control board, um, you know, folks, you'll hear us use the term BMS or battery management system. You know, all these modern batteries have basically a computer. It's a computer inside the battery that controls the battery, make sure the temperature stays in a healthy range, make sure the current coming in or going out isn't too too much. So if that computer fails, that, that's a, an individual component that can be replaced as opposed to the, the actual battery cells, which is what where all the weight and all the right. mass comes Correct. from. Correct. So makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So it works out better for both parties. You know, we don't have to ship a giant palletized new battery to the site. Often the BMS replacement boards or the power board, these field replaceable components are, you know, Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, shippable. So again, just really getting that replacement to the installer, to the customer as quick as we can, get them back up and running as soon as possible. Great. Um, one thing I'll add to that as well, Joe, is uh, replacing internal components of a battery, even the thought of opening a battery might sound kind of intimidating or scary to some people. 
uh, especially those DIYers out there who maybe aren't installing one of these, you know, a couple times a week. Uh, with that said, we have a very dedicated and responsive service and tech support team that can always answer any questions and help walk people in the field through these replacement processes, through system commissioning, through troubleshooting, firmware updates, and, and more. Great, great. So folks, this has been an introduction to the new Pites V10 battery. Uh, again, it's a wall mountable, 10 kilowatt hours usable storage lithium iron phosphate battery, and it's gonna be compatible with your 48 volt nominal systems like the Solark, for example. So Logan, anything else that the audience should know about the uh, the new Pites V10 before we close out this video? Yeah, um, I would say just, just touching again on the, the flexibility and the versatility of the product being that we can work with many of the major inverter players on the market and closed loop communication and then all the others uh, that don't have communication, we can still work with, with open loop. Um, I do want to add with, with inverters such as Solark, for example, we have full UL9540 certifications. Uh, we'll be on the CEC list, SGIP list, essentially California approved without any issues. And uh, in addition to that, we have the UL9540A certification for the uh, for the module and the cells on top of that as well. Great, great. Uh, well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Again, this is the new Pites V10. Uh, Logan, is this available for sale now, or if not, when when would when would they be able yeah, to buy it? Yeah, good question. So uh, we just finished up um, final design and uh, production of this model. We're hoping limited release quantities available maybe towards the end of the year, possibly in, in Q1 of 2025. But Stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll update everybody once we have more info on that. Sounds good. And we'll make sure that we continue to cover it as well. Uh, folks, by the way, that's why we're at the conferences like this. We want to make sure that you can stay up to date with all the latest solar technology and product information. So even though the product may not be available for sale today or when you see this video publish, uh, it is going to be coming in the very near future. And, and of course, that way you can make sure that you can uh, stay up to date. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that as we have these new videos coming out that we're capturing at the show here, it'll come up on your feed so you, you stay up to date, you won't miss anything. Well, Logan, thanks for spending some time with yeah. us this afternoon. Thank you so much, we yeah. appreciate it. And folks, thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.